Packers, Pasadena, California, and 1st Marine Division. I was in Korea, and believe me, folks, I've seen a lot there that you people here at home should see. I've seen Korean children, homeless, without food, without clothing. And believe me, the best thing that you people can do here is send more packages to CARE to Korea. These CARE packages are stockpiled in Korea now, and I saw what they could do for those people. They contain all the basic foods and clothing kits so urgently need. Because CARE is non-profit, they only cost $7, $10, and $13. Please send one to Korea now, won't you? Just mail a check to your local CARE office, or to CARE Los Angeles, or CARE New York. a special menu tonight, Luchek. Collins is treating Collins to the work. Well, this isn't the Waldorf Astoria, Mr. Collins. But we have good hamburger steak, we have potted lamb, veal chops, and beautiful... You want to see something beautiful? Just massage your eyes on that. Oh! <laughs> now, I'm sorry I don't have a more expensive menu. But what's the check for? That's a bonus from my dear boss for doing that series of articles on the state penitentiary. It seemed to have made quite an impression. Yeah, when Frog Prince gives you a bonus, it must be for something great. You're yeah, not kidding, and I want a dinner to go right along with it. Now, let me see. I want some canapé crepes and some lobster bits. Oh, no, a veal okay. chicken dough with bordelaise yes, sauce. Here. And I'll have some broccoli with salad oh, for you. Onion and beef salad with vinaigrette uh, sauce. Mr. Collins, the telephone and is for you. maybe I'll have some maraschino souffle. Mr. Collins, you are wanted on the telephone. I'm right here. I can hear what you're talking about. Get busy on that meal, will you, Lou? Check that. Oh, all right. Hello, this is Steve Collins. Warden Moran? Certainly I wrote those articles. Now, wait just a minute, please. Well, frankly, I think I could do better, yes. If that's your attitude, I will. Right away. Can't it wait? All right, Warden. All right. What, what's the matter, Mr. Collins? You better cancel the dinner, Luchek. Cancel the dinner? Where are you going? Well, that was Warden Thomas Moran of the State Penitentiary. Luchek, I'm going to prison. To prison? Send Collins in. Sit down, Collins. Thank you. I want to get right to what's on my mind. Well, couldn't it wait until tomorrow, Warden Moran? I'm afraid not. I know it's late, but I don't want your next article on this prison to reach print tomorrow. Well, if that's all you want to tell me, maybe I'd better get back to my dinner. Well, now, just a minute, Collins. Let me finish. I can't help but feel that your articles on the affairs of this institution are a direct attack on me. Now, all my articles are taken from test cases of men right here in this prison. I simply revealed that uh, under your policy, you do not rehabilitate these men. On the contrary, you increase their danger to society after they've been released. Collins, it's very easy to sit at a typewriter and criticize and accuse. But I have thousands of men here. I can't treat each one as an individual case be worthwhile anyhow. That's what you think. You never have tried to make them decent citizens. Tell us you're crazy. I just wish you had my job for a few weeks. We'd soon see what a mess your theories would make out of the whole place. Warden, you've got a deal. What do you mean? Well, my next article is on a prisoner called John Zavakis. And I have every reason to believe that he can be turned into a good, decent, useful citizen. Where'd you get your information? Well, there's no secrecy about it from your ex-prison psychiatrist, Dr. Herbert Gould. Oh. What did you mean just now when you talked about a deal? Just this. I'll withdraw those articles just to prove my point. You give me what should be your job for a little while. Let me go ahead with the treatment suggested by Dr. Gould. And if I'm right, you reinstate Dr. Gould and follow his advice. You want to make a test case of John Zavakis? Exactly. <laughs> Collins, you picked the number one problem of this prison. I've got his file right here. I was going over it just before you came in. Now, what does it say? Well, briefly, he, he wakes up in the night in a frenzy. Goes into hysteria until he has the whole cell block in an uproar. Yeah, I know, and then he becomes completely unmanageable. He won't work even after he's calmed down and generally winds up in solitary confinement. You're well briefed on the case. I know more about it than you do, Warden. But does it say anything in that report about the cause of it? Is there anything in there that says anything about 
current nightmare. another of these dreams they're bringing him up now oh, good good dr gould explained to me that this dream was the, was the very key to tobacco's behavior just what did gould tell you well it all happened when tobacco was a kid you know his nickname don't you well, i think they call him hunky hunky yeah hunky he was even a punk in his own environment when he was only a kid they threw him out and he knocked around from one sweatshop to another there was only one bright spot. Don't laugh at this, Warden. But when he was a kid, Zabakis loved the piano. Zabakis? Yeah. He used to sneak away from work, feed up old broken down piano we found in the storage room. They tell me he was pretty good, too, considering he never had a lesson. Zabakis told Dr. Gould and all this? Oh, no, no. Zabakis doesn't remember very much of it. We've just done a lot of research. Well, what's all this got to do with a nightmare? Well, one day while he was playing the piano, the overseer of the factory came in and caught him. And he sneaked up behind him and he smashed the piano lid right down on the kid's fingers. <laughs> I'm sorry, Collins. I can't buy it. Oh, don't you see, Warden? That is the last constructive effort that John Zabakis ever made. Everything after that just became a line of least resistance and it was relegated to, to his subconscious. And the whole thing is right there in your file. All right, all right. So Zabakis, as a child, has my sympathy. But now he's my problem and he's a rough customer. He won't obey the regulations. He won't work. He I won't... know that's just it. He won't work at the things that you assign him to do because he's afraid of injuring his hands. He doesn't realize it, but they represent an entire life of, of frustration and failure. It's the dream. It's the whole idea. <laughs> I can see you spent a lot of time with Dr. Gould. Yes, I did. Yeah. Lord Moran, President John Zemeckis is here. Oh. 
bring him in. Shall I stay in here? No, no, I don't think that'll be necessary. You can wait outside the door. You'll hear it if there's any trouble. Sit down, Zavakis. Sit down, Hunt. If I don't take orders from the big shots, I don't take them from you. Look, my name is Steve Collins. I'm a newspaper reporter. I'm a friend of Dr. Herbert Gould, the psychiatrist. Do you remember? Well, doctor, sure I remember. Look, if I had my way, you'd be in solitary for what happened tonight. So what? I like the cockroaches down there better than the people up here. Wait you... just a minute, Warden. Punky, do you mind if I call you John? I don't care what you call me, mister. Okay, John. Now, look. How would you like to go to work in the prison library? Me? Library? I think you would set me up for something. But if I did assign you there and you thought it was on the level, would you work? Sure. It'd be a sap not to take a soft job in place of solitary. Till I found the rub. Sit down, John. Okay, I'm sitting. Now look, you don't know who I am, but let's say that I'm just acting for Dr. Gould. Is that okay? Okay, he must have been. They canned him. John, is there anything that, that you ever wanted to do to accomplish? No. Everything I wanted, I got. I see. Including this here, too. Uh, this I didn't want. It was a present. You wanted to play the piano one? <laughs> well, don't, don't laugh at me, will you please? I'm on the level about this. I'm a new guy around here. Give me a chance, will you? New name, new face. What's the difference? All right. Let's suppose I just want to get a story. I got a new angle. Maybe it'll do you some good. Okay, okay. Anything to cut the visit short. Sure, I thought it'd be nice to play the piano when I was a kid. I thought it would be very nice. It was a long time ago. And I heard you were pretty good at it a long time ago. Guess I wasn't too bad. Maybe it had have been good someday. Why didn't you keep it up? Go oh, cut it out, will you? What is this, the third degree? I tell you, I don't remember. Let me alone. Put me in a hole, but stop beating at me. Johnny, are you willing to make a bet? A bet? That's one of the counts you're enjoying my company on, mister. Just let's call it a bet. You cooperate with me, and if you don't find everything on the level, you can back out. It's only half a bet. What's your end? Well... If you can't find a hitch in it, you do cooperate with me, and I get a story. Okay, those are sucker odds. As long as they're in my favor, it's a bet. What's the deal? For one, you're going to work, go to work in the prison library. And two, you're going to spend a half an hour or so each day learning to play the piano with me. I can teach you a little bit. I can play the piano a little bit. Is that a deal? It's a deal. But get this, Collins. I don't think you're going to use me for a stoolie to get some information from the rest of the cons. Because if there's anything smelly in this deal, you're going to have plenty of trouble with this baby. More trouble than you and the warden and any of the creeps can handle. Is it understood? Yes, understood. All right, you two, you've got yourselves a deal. But I've got something to add. Zemeckis, you'll meet Collins every day in my quarters. He'll be taken to and from there under guard. And Collins. I'll insist that you be armed during all your contacts with this man. Okay. Is it a bet? Yeah, it's a bet. And don't worry, Collins, because I always pay off on bets. Tom Donahue of New York City. I'm an air crewman of a rescue helicopter, and I have just returned from Korea. I have seen the pitiful conditions of these Korean refugees, and I would like to say it would make your heart bleed. If you would like to do something about this, I'd suggest an ideal way to send them care packages. These packages contain all the basic foods the South Korean people need, rice, flour, meat, sugar, and cooking fat. Other care packages for careers contain underwear and blankets. Through nonprofit care, they cost seven, ten, and thirteen dollars. Just mail a check to care. Either send it to your local care office or simply mail your check to Care Los Angeles or Care New York. Okay. 
threw you in the hole. What happened? Everything happened real screwy. I got to figure it out. It's got to be an angle. figure this thing out together. There was a reporter in there with the warden, a guy named Collin. He was different from anybody I'd ever seen before. Uh, oh, sure, sure. He brought out a bottle and offered you a drink. No, no, no. He, he got the warden to put me to work in the library. Library? Yeah, and he's going to teach me to play the piano. Can you imagine? <laughs> hey, you punk, you oh, what a sense of humor. A real joker. <laughs> What's the matter? You can't see me in the library with books, huh? I'm only good to break my back. I ain't got brain to play the piano. Well, see, it's not easy. All right. Gotta learn to play the piano as well. You're gonna work in the library as well. Anything that's good for you, pal. Let's face it, this ain't no kindergarten. Now, what's up? I don't know what's up. Uncle, this, this reporter said he was a friend of Gould's. Maybe it's one of Gould's crazy ideas. You remember, he always wanted to help me. Gould, the psychiatrist. Collins, the reporter. Collins? Say, he's this guy that's been writing them stories about this dump. You know, it just could be. Funky, where are you gonna take those letters? The warden's quarters. I guess there's a piano there. Yeah, yeah, that figures. This guy Collins, this guy Collins makes a deal with a big shot. Let's prove a point. If it works, he gets a story. If it don't work out, he lays off the warden. Monkey, I think we can make something out of this. Yeah, you gotta be careful. This guy's gonna pack a rod. Warden's orders. Maybe that's it. That cinches us. Yeah, I got that. Monkey, what am I? Oh, you're my pal, I guess. What do you mean? Sure, sure, I'm your pal, but what else am I? I'm a trustee, right? I'm a trustee, Funky. Now, I hate those bums just as much as you do. But I play along with them, see? Like I'm on their side all the way. Until that one big day. Oh, that's good, good. You made a lot of progress in the last couple of weeks. Well, let's take a time in the break, huh, Johnny? Johnny. Johnny. I'm almost getting used to being called that again. I've been called Punky ever since I was a kid. Did you present us? The name Punky? No. It's a name like any other. Ain't it? Maybe so. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe not. I know when I called a kid a punk, I didn't mean to throw no bouquets at him. But I've been called Punky all my life. Let me tell you something, Johnny. When I started on this thing, I had a terrible time getting my paper to go along with it. I just had Dr. Gould's word, and you, and the story. Think it's worth it, Collins? Oh, yeah. Your rehabilitation is. <laughs> That's a big word. Rehabilitation. <laughs> That's something I didn't even learn working in the library. But it's good to know that I did learn something that will keep me out of stir. You know, Collins? You can be in jail up here. Somehow, all my life, I've been in stir. Afraid of the cops, I now. Never being able to do what I wanted to do. Made a lot of progress, Johnny. Keep it up. Collins, what would you do if I took that rod away from you? and use you for a shield to get out of here. They couldn't afford to shoot a reporter. You've given that a lot of thought, haven't you? Especially at the beginning. What would you do? Well, I don't think you'd try it, Johnny. But if you do, I'll shoot, believe me. And uh, there's an alarm switch on the wall, don't forget that. You got a lot of guts, Collins. But then, you're playing for real. So are you, Johnny. Taking your piano lesson. Both 
of us there. I'll be able to get that rod that Collins carries. Then he'll be our permanent passport out of this joint. Leave it to me, boy. I got it all figured out. All I got to do is wait. And then what? Punky. Punky. All the stupid times to fall on me. You can report back now. Mr. Collins, I have to check you for your gun. Just a precaution. Oh, I picked it up on the way in here. Skip it and relax, will you? Okay. Johnny, I picked up some new music in town today. Today's my day to face the music, huh? Well, come on. we got to get to work. We're not going to open this job, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know. What is that, temperament? No, no, I, I, I guess I guess my fingers are cold. Well, maybe we've been pushing you a little bit too hard. Get up, let me show you something. Look, flex your fingers, Johnny, like that. Remember those chords I told you about? Yeah, maybe I'll be a big disappointment to you yet, huh, Collins? Uh, go on, maybe this just isn't your day. Yeah, not my day. Maybe you're, maybe you're right. Maybe today ain't my day. Uh, suppose we knock off, okay? Certainly, if you don't feel like doing it. Well, once again, Mr. Collins, repairs to be done here. Here's a painter, okay? Well, sure. Oh, sure. I think it's zipping, Mr. Collins. This is where you hang out, huh? Where are you from? I am Nico. You two know each other? Small world, Mr. Collins. Classmates. <laughs> <laughs> now, you don't have to worry about him. He'll be a trusty pretty soon. Oh, Mr. Collins. One thing I always try to tell Punky. Cooperation. We're here. We might as well make the best of it. Right, Punky? Right, Nico. Oh, wait a minute. Punky, I thought you said you were learning to play that thing good. Bad pupil, I'm just... No, he's a pretty smart pupil. He's, he's just not in the right mood today. I'll straighten him out. Get up here. Let me show you. You know what I told you, Johnny, about flexing your fingers? You know those chords? Remember that? Work your fingers and relax your wrist. You know what I mean? Work on that... Oh, Lord! Come on, down! Come on, we're not a unit. That'll be your obituary. You're taking us out of here. Come on. Mikey, get the gun. He's going to be alive for it. Get it! Let him have it! in my life. I got what I aimed for. I got what I aimed for. I'm Sergeant Bill Mim, Parsons, Kansas. I recently returned from Korea after serving the 49th Fighter Bomber Wing. I've seen many refugees from Korea all suffering from the lack of food and clothing and housing. It's awful terrible over there the way those people are suffering. The folks back home here, you may not think that you can help. One way you can help is send care packages to them. These care packages are what the civilian refugees need urgently. They contain rice, sugar, meat, and flour. They also contain much needed clothing and blankets. The cost is seven, ten, and thirteen dollars, or what cash you could spare toward a package. Then 
Angeles Cash to Care for Korea. Mail it to your local care office or to Care Los Angeles or Care New York. That's about it, Luchek. Warden Moran reinstated uh, Dr. Gould as the prison psychiatrist. Hey, but this guy Menko, did he die? Oh, no. He had a pretty tough siege of it, but the last I heard, he was out of danger. Uh, bravo, Mr. Collins. You've done a fine job. And for this, I must shake your hand. Not these hands. Now, don't forget, I still have a bad case of writer's cramp. I will. But now, how are you going to write your story? Oh, what difference does it make now? The backers will probably get a shortened term for saving my life and stopping a jailbreak. When he gets out, he's going to get the job as a musician. I think he'd be ready for it by that time, too. Yes, but what about the story? Oh, that's just it. If he's going to be busy making himself a decent and a respectable citizen, now we can't go around and plaster his prison record all over the front pages of the newspaper, can we? Yeah, I see. Gee, whiz. When I think what I went through with the pain of this thing just to get a story. Well, that's it, Luchek. It's one of those things that's not for publication. <laughs> I'll tell you what I am going to do. Remember that dinner I spoke about some weeks back? Oh, yes. I've still got the check, and I'm going to go the whole works all over again. Oh. I want the crepe, uh, the crepe canopies, and I want Good. the lobster bisque. Good. And I want the veal chicken dough with bordelaise sauce. Good. And I want broccoli with hollandaise, and onion and beef salad with vinaigrette <laughs> sauce. <laughs> for dessert, I want that lovely maraschino souffle. <laughs> Thank you.